this video starts, I just want to put it out there. We are nearly on 1,500 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. But for those of you who don't know and you're new to this channel, we have a giveaway at 1,500 subscribers. It's for the UK only, unfortunately, because we are teaming up with LJB Automotive Detailing to give you a full detail and a single stage polish and wax on your car. And all you need to do is follow myself on Instagram, which is here. Follow LJB Automotive Detail on Instagram, which is here. And all you need to do is buy a sticker from my store, which is here. The more stickers you buy, the more entries you have. And for those of you who have already bought a sticker and supported the channel, thank you, thank you so much. And I will see you at the giveaway. A lot of people have been asking about the turbo build. With that is, I wanted to send the engine block off this month. But unfortunately, I came home to the Storm Eunice and it had destroyed my carcoon for the Mark III Fiesta. If you don't know how much these carcoons cost, they are a fair chunk of money and I've had to purchase a new one. So for those of you wondering, hopefully by the end of March, I should hopefully have that engine sent off and we should hopefully start getting a ball rolling. If you do want to support the channel and you do want to see this turbo build come quicker, please buy a sticker. It means the world and it just gives us that little, gives us that little bit of a push just to get it done a bit further. And I appreciate you guys so much for taking time watching the channel. But be sure to enter that giveaway. Do not sleep. This giveaway is worth about £450. And it doesn't matter where you are in the UK. We will come to you. All you need is access to water and some power. Just so we can plug the jet wash in and get your car spanking. happening everyone we are back today with another video we are currently camping no i'm only joking right so in the previous week we found that we did uh, headlights and the lenses were a bit crusty so today we're gonna do a little product review if this doesn't work then i've definitely got a solution uh which i'll probably be doing in the same video but i thought We'll give this little Maguire's kit a try. I've tried the Auto Glim one in the past and it's a bit shit. So I thought let's give this one a try. It was on the shelf while I was picking up some bits to do these headlights. So let's give it a crack. So I've had a little read of the instructions and it just says to have a cup of water and soap the two um, sandpaper pads in there. They said for about a minute. It's probably been a little a bit longer than that, so that's fine. You need a drill and then obviously you've got your polish and your pad that's inside there which i'm not going to bother with and you've got you need like a water sprayer so okay so you need a spray bottle of some sort so and all the instructions say is just give the light a good dousing and then i will get the number one pad and just go horizontally with it. See the light, it's like yellow water. We just got to keep doing that until it goes nice and clear. 
might have to pull these lenses back off because I've just noticed that there are bits of sealer actually inside the lens which is so annoying but again I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it Okay, so now you can see that's all nice and clear, which has let off some imperfections because there's sealer inside there and there's sealer inside here, so we'll have to do that at some point. Um, what I'm going to do now, uh, get some microfiber cloths, wipe this headlamp dry, and then on the other side, as you can see it says number one, then it's number two. I'm going to go over it with that, and we've got four steps to this, so I'm just going to time lapse all the way through it and then show you the next step once it's all sanded up and dried. Okay, so as you can see now, a lot of the scratching and yellowing has gone compared to this lamp. You can see a lot of crazing. So what I'm going to do now is open this back up, get a polishing pad. And the polish, I'm just going to give it a good shake. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, attach the polishing pad to the drill, apply a little bit to the pad, spread it all the way around, and then we'll use the drill as a polishing, well, we'll just polish out with the drill. Back to the time lapse. Okay, so here's the final result, and I must admit, they're not too bad. They've got a few light like, scratches in them and stuff. I mean, I could go all day with this sort of thing. Um, best bet would probably be to hit it with my actual mop rather than using the drill and that thing. So I've got quite a, a harsh cutting compound. Uh, just shows all the imperfections of these lamps now, unfortunately. I think I'll probably be pulling these lenses off at some point again just to give the insides another clean and to remove any bits of silicon that I've left um, as you can see there as well but I'm not going to complain too much I did stress that these lamps were never going to be perfect uh, they were just literally a first try from me but that looks a million times better say compared to something like this lamp here it's awful so what I'm going to probably, I'm just, I've got a protective coat in a post coming, so when it turns up, I'll probably give the car a clean and then apply it um, just so it protects the lamp. Still has like a slight tinge of yellow in it, so I might just give it another little wet sand at the top, just at the top, around about here, and then um, go over it with the buffer again and hopefully that will be sorted because it's just I can see it slightly I don't really want to leave it as this because it will just come back okay so I just went over again a lot more yellowing out now so I'm quite happy with that so let's move on to the other side I'm just going to quickly time lapse through it because obviously I've shown you what you pretty much need to do for the passenger side I just want to crack on now
Okay, so as you can see, I finished the driver's side. Still loads of like little cracks in it. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, there we go. Loads of little imperfections. It looks ten times better. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some high grit sandpaper. So I think this starts off at an 1800 grit. I might start off at maybe a thousand or an 800 and work my way back up again just to get these little imperfections out. There's not many of them, but I'm just not too happy of how it looks compared to the other side. So let me get some high grit sandpaper, bosh this out, and then I'll tell you what I've done at the end and what I've used. Okay, so here's the finished result on the driver's headlamp now. Uh, what I ended up doing is getting some sandpaper out. I went with an 800 grit wet first and then a 1200 grit and then use the pads from the kit uh, unfortunately my drill died so it didn't really give a good cut so I ended up just getting the uh, polisher out instead and I ended up going a bit more crazy than what I expected I just used the three stages not to revitalize an auto finesse because that's what these pads are built for and didn't want to ruin them by using the other compound then I found that the other side looked better than the passenger, so I went over it with that. Um, and they just look, they look fantastic. I can't even complain, really. Um, I would say I'd recommend the kit uh, for someone who's just wanting a quick DIY job on a lamp that has a little bit of hazing. If you had a lamp that has like um, quite deep scratching in it, sort of like my driver's one, I wouldn't recommend it for that. It's just not man enough. Um, they do have a guide that, like, apparently, well, I mean, I used the guide that does apparently the worst lamps ever, uh, but it still wasn't good enough for what I had, so I would probably say, if you're going to do this, you can get the kit. I mean, I just sort of saw it on the off chance and thought, oh, you know what, I'll give it a go. Um, but unfortunately, you cannot beat a polishing mop proven it hands down you cannot be it three stages and they just look fantastic i mean it's actually crazy how much the small things can do these lamps are absolutely popping now anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know it was a bit of a short one and a little bit of a drag on these headlights but um, hopefully you enjoyed if your headlamps are a bit crappy and a bit manky it might sort of encourage you to go out and do your ones off your own back rather than having to pay someone or look at buying a new lamp anyways that's all for today hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to the channel please like comment subscribe and i'll catch you later